Hi. Hi, everyone. How are you? I'm going to get myself up here. I can see myself. It's always a good thing, right, to see, like, what's going on. Make sure you're live. Make sure everything is fine. Let's just... Let's just make sure, like I am live in the right place. I am, I am. Hello, hello. Oh, I forgot to send out my messages. I forgot to send out my remind app. Uh, usually I'm pretty good about that, but this time I completely forgot. So hi everyone, how are you? I hope y'all are having a great Thursday. Hey D. I forgot to send my remind app out today. I've been, it's been a busy day, a lot, a lot happening. And so, um, yeah, anyway, I completely forgot. So hopefully folks will start to hop on um, and it won't be any issue. Yeah, it's all good. I know, but it's just like, you know. Sun, some days. <laughs> so we are here at lunchtime having all kind of fun because um, because of the pain and retreat. I'm going to go ahead and post that link there. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's the correct link. <laughs> and so. Don't if you haven't heard about the pain and retreat. If you're new to me, my name is Amanda, simply for amazing art, and we're having a retreat. And so it's a virtual, it's online, it's so much fun. It's going to be on next week. If you can't make it, that's okay because the video replays will be there, and so that makes it great about being um, online as opposed to in person. One, you don't have to travel. You don't have the expenses of a hotel. You can you can watch the replays forever. It's that simple. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Yes, please. Thank you, Dee. That would be awesome. And so <laughs> you got hit by my little bot thing that says, oh, you put reminded, reminder in there. So here you can sign up on the Telegram for, for my um, Telegram or my Remind app, which I forgot to send. So you're getting that response, D. And so I thought I had made it. So they were all like hashtags because, yeah, I hadn't thought about that when I put them in there. But anyway, the painting retreat, we're doing three pieces of art over four days. And so it's from like 7 to 9, 9.30, two, two and a half hours a night. So it's not too bad. Um, and this is what we're doing. This is our glass and resin piece. So I, if you have not done glass and resin, I introduce you to glass and resin. And this retreat, uh, hey, Brenda, how are you? Thank you for sprinkling the love. <laughs> Just like, uh, <laughs> I'm on to that. Yes, you are. Anyway, hey, Sherry, how are you? Here we go. Let's see. Um, I don't see the little bubbles, so I don't think she's going to respond today. She's caught on to us, and she knows now. Um, good afternoon is right. And so um, this is the painted retreat. This is the mermaid that we're doing. And... I provide the tracer. I provide the supply list. And I walk you through step by step. This is the acrylic painting of the sea turtle. And then we're doing a really fun project that is a piece of functional art. And that is a beach bag. And so we're decoupaging on to the beach bag. And then we're painting it. And so this is just kind of like a little optional if you want to. Their kit was available for purchase. Many of you purchased your kits. I'm so excited about that. 
Good afternoon, Sherry. Good. Sprinkled some love. Thank you for sprinkling some love. I'm still trying to say Sherry, see if, see if she'll respond, but so far nothing this time. I don't know. No control over her, right? Anyway, so today we're doing another sea life because we're on the mission to find the pearl. And so I just have a question for you. Are we going to do a lobster or are we going to do a starfish? Lobster or starfish? And so you tell me. I'm going to get my other camera added in here. And so, yes, thank you for, for tagging people, too. That is pretty good. Let me, let me, let me see if I can change this. Yeah, there we go. Either is great for you. Okay. So, has a vote for either. We did do a starfish last year. We did. We did a starfish last year. So you want the lobster. And then I have another vote for a lobster. Okay. Hey, D, how are you? Thank you for sprinkling the love. And so, all right. Y'all gonna make me do this ugly lobster. <laughs> they're not very pretty I might need to switch out my my. I might need to switch it out I don't know can I shrink it up in there hmm I might I might go swap my canvas guys I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh do I want to yeah, let's just swap out this canvas because I think it's going to be so cr so crunched on there. We're not going to be able to see it. So let me go grab. I should have thought about that before when I was getting my canvas ready. I didn't. It's okay. I'm going to grab another 6 by 12 canvas. I've got plenty of these. So I have plenty 6 by 12s. I think that's going to be our better size to do this on anyway. And I just need to get it where it's not covered up. Oh, it doesn't look like it's covered up anyway. So that's good. When I look up, it's covered up. Here's your shape. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So I could do a shape like that and do it like this, or I could have his shape be like that and do it like that. I don't know. I printed a little inspiration right here just so I could like, how many legs does a, does a, a lobster have? I found this. I like the color of him. And so I found this on Pinterest because y'all know I love my Pinterest. And so I'm like... I don't even know how many. They're not very pretty animals. I will say that. A lobster with a personality. Well, hopefully he'll have a little bit of personality. It's your painting you do you. <laughs> no, y'all don't ever make it easy on me. Y'all don't ever make it easy on me. I kind of like his tail like flipped up a little bit though. I'm thinking like have his tail have just a little a little like curve up. Maybe. I don't know. We're just gonna we're gonna just go with it, right? And we're not gonna overthink it because overthinking it is just too much. And so um but I do kind of want his tail flipped up. So we're going to do it kind of like that. The tail might be a little bit big, but that's okay. Our lobster is a healthy lobster, right? We don't want no stinking little teeny tiny lobster. Like he needs to be healthy. 
I'm one of them big main lobsters with the big old nice tail. I don't know. Something don't look right there. So I just have to like figure that out. There we go. I like that better. I think. I don't know. I don't know. We'll worry about it when we paint it, right? We'll worry about it when we paint it. We're not going to we're not going to stress about it too much. We're just going to get a few little like little groovy things in here. I think I'm going the wrong direction. I think I need to go DIM. Let me see. I got my curves going the wrong direction. I'm like, I need something looked not right about it. But I couldn't figure out what it was. Oops. Oops. I'm going the wrong direction. Yep. You get the, in the retreat, you get the tracers for these. So yes, you do. Yes, you do. I'm providing these. I have not done them yet, but I will. You'll get them before the retreat is over, I promise you. And then he's got these, like, legs that come all out. And he's got these, like, little, I don't know what they are, but they're, like, I probably need to cut his body off, like, right here. And then have these like little things coming down from his body. I know it looks kind of rough right now. But hopefully it won't look so rough. And then he's got his little legs that's going to come out here. He kind of has like little crabby legs, right? They kind of look like little crab legs. I don't think you eat lobster. You eat lobster legs like you do crab legs. I've never heard of that. I don't think so, but they kind of have like little lobster-esque legs. I mean, I know you eat the claw meat. No, I know that. Obviously, you eat the lobster claw and the tail. Like, you know, this part. I don't know. I'm not up on all my, cra all my crabs and, and lobster and all that. <laughs> like... I do like lobster, though. I do eat lobster. That is a big, plump tail. Just the back part, not the legs. Yeah, but you do eat the claw meat, though. I think you eat the lobster claw meat, though. I think. I don't know. I have never cooked a lobster. That is one thing I have never cooked. I have done crab. But I have not. I can't. I don't know. I just... I have a tough time with them because you have to put them in live, you know, and that's just, that hurts my heart. And I just, I can't do it. Even though I know they're like food and all that, I just I still can't do it. I don't, I don't want to hear them like suffering and like clawing at the thing and mm -mm. no, thank you. That's just no, 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 no. And this is going to be his big old claw coming out here like this, kind of, sort of, I don't know, something like that. And then he's got this big old, like, big old claw. This is his pincher. This is what he gets you with. They were frozen, yeah. Now I could probably do the frozen ones, you know, but I can't do the, the, like, the live ones, no. I don't want to hear them like. I don't want to hear them like, you know. In Lowe's shopping. Oh, yay. I like shopping at Lowe's. It's one of my favorite places to shop. All right, and then he's got this like weird head that kind of comes down to a point, kind of like a crayfish type thing. I don't know. They're not very pretty. They're not very pretty, are they? And then he's all these like little tentacles that are going to come out. And on this side, we got a big old, another one of them big old pinchers that's going to come in here. So we kind of want to just mimic this one. Um, 
kind of like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh my God. Yeah, I've never done frog legs. Yeah, I would not do that. That thing would hop out the pan and I would be gone. I'm not even kidding. I would be like, Amanda has exited the kitchen. Because I'm not catching that thing. I'm not doing it. No. No. No, no, no. Like, if it has the ability to hop out of the pan, I'm not cooking it. We give him an eyeball right there. And then he's got these, like, long things. We'll put those in in a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what his mouth really looks like. I'm just going to put a little thing out there. I guess he's got some sort of a mouth, right? Hey, Jean, how are you? Are you going to join us for this year's paint and retreat, girlfriend? I hope so. I know you were there last year. You were with us. We're doing the mermaid, the sea turtle. I'm giving the tracers for all of these that I'm doing this week. So it's an excellent value. Nowhere else will you get three pieces of artwork and all of these tracers for $22. It is crazy. But. All right. We're going to just start painting and we'll figure it out. It is going to be great. I'm looking so forward to it. And, you know, by being part of the painting retreat and you having these, you can, you can keep the videos. You can, you'll have access to the group. You'll have, um, the ability to make as many as you want. I'm going to use some of my blues to create my background, of course. And I want to have some blues in my, in my lobster. But, you know, I've been using this Caribbean cooler. I've been using Tropical Dream. I'm trying to keep with the same colors because, one, it goes great with our paint and retreat. But then it also, um, they all end up blending very well together. And they work well um, as like a little, if you wanted to, you know, do a little, I guess like a vignette, I don't know what you call it, but like a little collage of all these together, you know. And so we're just going to create some like kind of deep water, right? Because these have been like, he's on the, like, he's maybe not on the bottom, but he's in deep, deep water. He probably is kind of like sitting on the bottom. So we probably should put in a little bit of, um... Y'all, let's continue just to think about those people who were lost out at sea in that submersible. I mean, it's so sad. Their oxygen is coming to an end. Um, uh, as of the last time I looked this morning, they have yet to, to be found. And so, like, they can't even locate them to even attempt to bring them up. Yet they say that, you know, it could be that they're up. They don't know where they are. They said they could be on the bottom. They could be um, on the top of the ocean somewhere or anywhere in between. It's kind of really, really like, wow. But when you think about it, they say that this the little thing they're in is the size of like a minivan. And I guess you get an ocean as big as the ocean and they're looking in a, they said the area they're looking in as, as, as big as like double the size of Connecticut. So I guess they're really doing all they can do. But I mean, multinational search.
It is terrible, and they definitely need prayers. They definitely do. It is. I, I just, I can't imagine. I mean, I can't imagine being a family member of, you know, one of these. But then especially, like, the mother of that boy. And, and, and of course, it's her husband and son who are both on it. Like, I mean, I can't imagine being her right now. My heart just goes out to her. It's got to be the scariest thing ever. For her. I think the thing said he's like 16 years old, too young. Yeah, it's a it's a father and son. One not it's a he's a Pakistani, um, like one of the richest families in Pakistan, they said, and um businessman and him and his son are on this. And I think I think I read, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I read where he was like 16 years old, something like that, like young. And he's not like a baby, but he's definitely a young, a young child, a young kid, teenager. I know 16 year olds don't, don't, don't see themselves as being a young teenager. I know that, but they are, <laughs> you know, to me, they are, and to us, they are. To them, you know, they're like six foot tall and bulletproof, right? But I'm just putting in like the bottom of the ocean because he's kind of like hanging out. He hang out on the bottom, right? I mean, I know they can swim, but they kind of like to hang out on the bottom. We're just going to let that go up a little bit because, you know, it doesn't like just end right there. We'll, we'll kind of just lose the line between kind of where the bottom starts and where the ocean water begins. And I'm just pushing up into this weirdness I have here. I figure I'll just fix that as I, as I paint. <laughs> That's the beauty of this. You can just fix it. Oh, thank you, Dee. The, it's um, chai latte. And then uh, just a little bit of that. What is of that blues that are mixed in with my brush. Because I did not clean my brush when I went into that chai latte. I don't really clean my brushes when I want it to like mix like that. And I'm overlapping. I'm coming in where my legs are. If I push into the legs, it's fine. I don't have them perfect anyway. So I'm sorry. I'm going to start to pick up some of those blues. I want that darker blue though to come in here. Into that area. Now I'm going to just go back into that chai latte and just kind of mix up in there. It definitely kind of gets murky in that area. And you're like, is that the bottom I'm seeing or is that water that I'm seeing? I don't know. We'll see how he turns out when he's painted. <laughs> if he continues to be a good lobster, if he ends up being a little wonky, that's okay. 
It's all good. It is all good in the neighborhood. All right. So we got that. Oh, I dropped water up on my. We don't need any water up on there. He's he's in the water, but he don't need water on top of him, right? So, how's everyone's Thursday? Hopefully, you're having an amazing Thursday. It's hard for me to believe it's Thursday already. I mean, it was just like Monday yesterday, right? It'll be even greater. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm using my candy papaya, my candy apple. I'm going to use some of these yellows I've been using throughout the pieces. So a little lemon crinkle and a little honeycomb. I'm even going to pull in some greens because we've been using those greens. And so I'm going to use a little sour apple. I'm going to pull a little sour apple. I kind of really like the way he's like just all those different colors. And so I'm not going to copy those different colors and the way they're doing it. But I'm just going to kind of copy that method, right, of having all these like little different colors coming in there because I really, really like that. Um, and so we're just going to start. Now he's going to look like, I don't want him to look like he's cooked. So I don't want him to be like the red all over, right? Because that would be like he's cooked. So we're just going to start adding some color. This is where we're just going to start to have like a lot of fun with color. Um, is it blurry or do I need to... It looks a little blurry. Does that look blurry to y'all? Do I need to like focus it a little bit more? Does that look better? I can't tell. Oh. Okay, I think that's better. Fine here. Okay, all right, well. Okay. No. Okay. Good. 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 I'm glad it's not blurry. It was looking a little blurry on my side. I don't know. I don't know. This is where we're just going to start to have like a lot of fun with all of this different color. And so I'm going to go into that yellow and I'm going to bring some of that yellow in. I'm not cleaning my brush, guys. Because I kind of want it to just sort of blend from one color to the next color. And so if it has a little bit of that other color on there. Only time I'm going to get really careful about it is where I've got like colors that might be including like all of my primary colors. Right. And so then I want to be a little bit careful with it. Other than that, I'm not going to be that careful with it. And so it's okay. And in fact, a little bit encouraged if there's a mix involved. Because I want a little bit of blue in him also. I'm going to just pull in a little bit of this deeper blue. Now it might be hard to see kind of where his um, claw ends. But we'll come back and we'll fix that. And so...
Um, the red and the yellow. So red is primary, yellow is a primary. If they mix, they're gonna get that orange. So, but we're so they're gonna mix to an orange, right? They're not gonna mix to any other color because red and yellow make orange. And so I put down a little candy papaya and a little yellow was the one I had. So that that orange is already that red and yellow. So it's not gonna it's not gonna make a dark color. But now if I get that blue up into that orange, now we're starting to cross all three and I'm going to make a dark color. And so this is where, you know, you just kind of want to be cognizant of what colors you are using and what colors you're potentially going to get. And so, you know, the blue and the yellow are fine because where they mix, they'll go to green. And so that is, that's perfectly fine. But I just didn't want a brown up in his claw. Now, if I potentially want a brown because I want a little shadow, I can 100% go back into that orange and pull in that blue, right? And I'm going to get a darker brown that then I can come in and Give a little shadow where I need it to be if I wanted to use it that way. And so, so this is where that coloration and using color theory can either prevent or help <laughs> you and what you what you're trying to achieve there. So that's the difference. In all of this. He's going to be a lobster of many color. What do y'all think? You know, the horse of many colors or the coat of many colors and the <laughs> he's going to be a, whore, a lobster of many colors. A colorful lobster. And so, hopefully he'll be all right when we're done. He's looking a little on the odd side right now, I would say. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's name her Dolly, like Dolly Parton. I guess we could. Could be a female. I don't know. I don't know the rules around lobsters. Like, you know, usually it's like the colorful birds are the ones that are the males. I don't know. I don't know in sea life how that works. Like, are the colorful ones the females or the males? I don't know. If somebody knows that, let me know. <laughs> Because I don't know. But this lobster has definitely got a personality. I would say. And definitely. Yeah, coat of many colors, Dolly. That's right. That's right. That's her like infamous song, right? And so, coat of many colors that her mama made for her. Love it. I love it.
I'm just picking up that color I laid down and just letting it blend into that green I'm putting down. The whole point is just to let one color kind of go into another color. Now, y'all, I'm going to get a little dangerous here and just see what we can do. I'm going to pull in a little of that orange. This is where you, you got to be careful because you're going across your your primary colors. <clears throat> I'm kind of just being very light in the touch there. And so I'm going to go into a little bit of that red for this part down here that is hanging down. I don't know what these are called on a lobster, but it's showing on that one. So I'm putting it on there because I don't know what it is. And so it kind of looks like little ruffles or something. I don't know. You have to go buy some lobster now. Do they have, um, I mean, I know they have it because like grocery stores here have lobster. But I don't know, like, is it cheaper up there because you're closer to Maine or is it still like as expensive as it is down here? Um, I mean, I know, I know you're not that close to Maine because, you know, but you're closer than Virginia to Maine. <laughs> You're closer than Virginia. I know they have all kind of different lobster too because, you know, down in Florida you can get that rock lobster, which is a little bit different than, say, the, um, the main lobster. And so... They're expensive, yeah. His nipples, oh my lord. I don't know, maybe so. I don't know. I don't know what you call them. Like, it could be. I honestly have no, I, I don't know anything about uh, shellfish. Other than I know I like to eat most of them. <laughs> That's my extenuating, like, knowledge of them is I know I like to eat most of them. I had some canvas showing right there that I just wanted to go back and do over. He's looking a little on the wild side, isn't he? I don't know. I don't know about this one. He's looking a little wild. I kind of like all the colors on that one, but mine is like, you're looking like a little hot mess here going on. Like... But we'll figure it out. I'm not going to let it bother me. Just trust in the process, right? And what's the worst thing? Don't like it. Me too. Okay. You trust in the process? Yeah. Are you just like eating them? I think you were probably, I don't know which one you were. Probably both. You're probably like, I'm just trusting the process. It's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm just trusting the process. It's going to be okay. He kind of wild.
Both. That's right. Both. Just trust in the process. It's going to be all right. I will honestly say this is my first lobster. <laughs> I don't think I've ever painted a lobster before. Or even like drawn a lobster before. Like they're not very pretty. They might taste good, but <laughs> they're not very pretty. I think he's going to be all right. <laughs> like drawn butter. Yeah. Yeah, I still have to find it and post it. I'm sure it did come out great. I am positive of that. Because you're talented, girlfriend. Now, Catherine, hey, Catherine, by the way, hi, nice to see you today. Hopefully you're having a good Thursday. I hadn't seen you hop on. Um, do y'all have lobster down there at the Outer Banks? I mean, I know it's not like Maine lobster, but like, do y'all get lobster? I know you have like tons of shrimp and all the crab and all that. And so I know you have all of that, but I don't know if y'all have, um, if lobster is a thing down there. I've never known it to be, but maybe I have had lobster there before though. One of the times I was there, but I think it was like, <laughs> probably frozen and came in from um not well not frozen but you know what I mean like probably came in from Maine or somewhere else not necessarily down there and so yeah yeah that's what I was thinking like probably I can't remember I do know the name of the place. I'm trying to remember the name of the place. The Black Pelican is where I got it from. Kind of up there in Kitty Hawk. The Black Pelican. Used to be years ago when we would go down, there was a cottage we would stay at that it was, it was just, the cottage was just down. It was, um, you know, that's on Beach Road. And it was just down the Beach Road from there. And so it was easy to get to. If you wanted to, you could walk.
Oh. <clears throat> we had a restaurant here. Well, I mean, er, lots of places have it. It's closed here. Our Red Lobster closed here. But you could go in Red Lobster and pick out your lobster. They had a tank. And you could pick out the lobster you wanted. I never did that. I'm like, I don't want to know what lobster I'm eating. I'm happy just to like not know. That it was swimming in the tank just minutes before I walked in. <laughs> Like, no, thank you. I don't need to know that. I don't need to pick my own. I'm all good. Thought that was a little bit weird. But lots of people pick their own. My hour relapse closed down about a year ago now. They said they couldn't get help after COVID. So I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> and so. Charlottesville's funny. You know, there can be businesses in a little town like Waynesboro that, you know, doesn't have anywhere near the population that Charlottesville has and, and those businesses tend to thrive and yet Charlottesville can't seem to keep a business I would never consider opening up a business in Charlottesville never and anybody who asked me about opening up a business in Charlottesville I'd be like no thank you don't do it It is. It's a problem everywhere. Um, and it's it's like, I don't understand. Like, I get it. But it's like, what are these people doing? Like, how are they paying the bills? Because I want to know. Like, tell me. <laughs> tell me what you're doing. How are you paying your bills? Because, I mean, they just can't not pay their bills, right? I mean, maybe they can, I guess. I don't know. I don't understand that. How you just not pay your bills. I mean. They only let you go so long without paying a bill before you're like... <laughs> not a psychedelic one mine is definitely my I said from the very beginning that mine was gonna have some attitude we're not done yet he's gonna have a lot more he or she is gonna have a lot more attitude before we're done and so definitely Definitely a uh, lobster of many color. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan right this minute, but we're, we're going with it. Worst case scenario, you just know not to paint yours like this, right? <laughs> and you paint yours like all one color. That makes sense. But I think he's going to be cute when we're done. At least that's the hope that I'm holding out for. Is that he's going to be cute when we're done.
Oh, look at that. I'm using a paint pixie angle brush is what I'm using right now. We're going to come back and we're going to do a little more with him. I'm glad, D. I'm glad you're loving him. I'm not in love with him yet, but I think I'll change my mind before it's over. There's work we are going to still do on this. This is going to take me it'll be a little bit longer than an hour. I try to do it in an hour, but we're coming up on my hour. And I still have the legs to do. And so somewhere I'm missing a leg. I should have four legs. I think I covered one up like right here. We're just going to we're just going to create a leg. And let it be like running right on off. Just like that. And just make them a little bit. We just make little sections, right? So we make a little section. We come to a little point. We make another little section that's a little bit bigger. Come to a point. We'll make another little section. It's a little green. When I usually am doing something freehand. When I do something freehand, I like to use an angle brush. And so because I can use it like I, I can control the angle brush just like I have a, a pencil in my hand. And so I like that control over it rather than um, the flat brush. And if I just need to get something painted, I need to get it painted quickly, then I'll go back to that flat brush and let that be my brush of choice. So it just depends on what I'm doing as to whether I go with an angled or I go with a flat. Most of the time it has to do with, is it freehand? Then I need that little point to be like my pencil. And often that's the that's the difference as to the differentiator as to which one I use and why I'm using it. Is I just need that level of control. And so We had come up with the, well, we came up with the name Dolly, right? The lobster of many colors, Dolly. Do we like that? I kind of think it's cute. Kind of like that name. If y'all like that name, I like that name. I think it's kind of cute. I gotta get used to calling it a her though. <laughs> I was joking. You don't have to do that. I was joking. Okay, well, whatever. We can come up with a name. A name is a name. But I just kept saying he, and I'm like, well, it can't be a he if her, the name is Dolly. I mean, I guess it could be, but we're not going there. <laughs> this, we're not taking this bus there.
All right, let's see if we can spruce this up just a little bit more or maybe a little less, maybe a little, I don't know what, but I kind of want to just come in with some other colors and just do a little splotch and kind of like on our example um, piece, I want a little bit of this cream color. I don't really want white, but I want a little bit of cream. I want to break it up a little bit so it's not all like, just like a rainbow, you know, and I'm going to use this cream color. Just to kind of give a little separation. In splotches. Along our. I don't even know if you can see that. It's going to draw back. It's going to be hard to see. I might need to do. I just kind of want to break up some of the I don't know if I'm going to like this or not but just a little bit of all of it just to give another like little dimension What do y'all think? Yay, name. I'm kind of liking it now. Yeah, this one has no red in it. I don't want it to be the same. I don't want it to be like just repeat of the same. And so I want it to be different. It just needs something to break up the rainbow color. I mean, maybe he's a rainbow lobster. I think that is such a thing. But I don't think they're necessarily like this. I don't think that's how they roll. But he just needed a little something to break up. All of that color he had going on him, right?
I'm not loving that right there. What I got going right there, I'm not loving. That's a little better, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Because this is the way it is, we're going to have to use some black to break up and give us some seg the segments and all of that. So I'm going to pull out my black, which is, well, that was brilliant, Amanda. Brilliant. Y'all see what I just did? I tell you, brilliant. <laughs> I just threw black all over it. That's what I did. Throw black everywhere. Why not? Trying to get it out of my bottle. Okay. This is where shape is going to become important. And I don't know that I have the right shape for his head here. But. It is what it is. And we're not going to worry about it too much. Because he's. Whimsical, right? So we're not going to worry about it. Anyone out here been pinched by a, a lobster before? I've never been pinched by a lobster that I know of. Well, I guess it could have been. I kind of thought it was a crab that pinched me. No, it was a crab that pinched me. It would not have been a lobster because I was in the Outer Banks when I got pinched. I got pinched two times and I went snorkeling. The two times. Because y'all know I'm scared of sharks. So I don't get in the ocean. But I got in the ocean because it was so clear. And I was like. Yeah I'll get in the ocean. And. And so. Because you know. My husband he loves the ocean. And when we got married. He knows I'm scared of sharks. But he still bought like full-on snorkel gear for me because like yeah I'm gonna go snorkel and that sounds like something I would do in the ocean now I'll snorkel all day long in the lake <laughs> not think about it <laughs> ouch I bet that hurt and so I, we went down to the next head and the water that, I mean, which is normally not the case because on the East coast water is not usually like so calm, but the water was so calm the week we were down there that it was like bath water. It was unbelievable how like calm it was and how clear it was. It's like, I had never seen it like that on the East coast. So I was like, okay, I'll get in and we'll snorkel. And so, and then a crab bites me on the toe twice. I get pinched on the thing. Like, and then, and then I get stung by a jellyfish. And I was like, you know what? I'm like, I got you, Mother Nature. I got you. Like, Message received loud and clear. Message received. 
Like, stay out the water, Amanda. Got the message loud and clear. Whoops, this is where I want to go right here. I almost lost where my big part was there. Doesn't go down through there. We'll take that off. Let's just see if we can get that off. Good enough. And so I was like, Mother Nature got you. Heard it loud and clear. Stay out the water. <laughs> that was cute. I don't know about that. What kind of bird drew blood? Like, was that like, um, like a domesticated bird or was it like a wild bird? One time my mother-in-law, she used to get on the bus and go to like the mall and stuff. And, and so one time she was at the bus, at the mall, waiting, you know, for the bus to come so she could go home. And these little jaybirds, I guess, um, were in the, um, I don't know what you call them. I think they're like bluebirds, jaybirds. I don't know. But anyway, um, they had a little nest in like the tree that she was standing at kind of, and they started getting after her and they chased her <laughs> out through the parking lot. They were after her. <clears throat> they kept dive bombing her. And it's a cockatiel. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I had two cockatiels. Um, I had two cockatiels and I had, um, my grandma had a, um, a parrot. And so, all right, now I'm pretty happy with it. It looks a little wild. It looks a little bit on the wild side. Not gonna lie. Doesn't look like something I normally would do, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be something I would normally do, right? We're going to put all these like wiry things coming off of them. And so birds, they can, they can do some damage. I never got bit by mine, but they could certainly do some damage. One of my, my second job when I was a teenager was at a pet store and I bought home two cockatiels that you'd be surprised the number of people who would go up into you. All right, so now this thing has like all these things coming out of his head. That's why I couldn't tell like what his face looks like. <laughs> and I just made that up a little bit. I don't know if it looks like that or not. But we're going to put these on ours. So we're going to kind of cover up that face a little bit and disguise that face with these long, like, tentacles that are going to come out. I'm going to do a little dark, just so I can put a little dark on there also. I'm not going to outline these. I'm just going to have it be like a little dark, a little light, a little whatever. Um, and so. Oh, my antennas. Okay, they're antennas. Okay, I didn't know what they were called. 
See, I don't know anything about my fish. <laughs> I need like lessons in what what you call these things. <laughs> I'm just putting a bunch of them because I want to kind of mask that front. And I kind of want them to be all colors too. The antennas. Yeah, they're kind of like, I guess, like whiskers. Like... You know, I have no idea what these things are called, but antennas, whiskers, that's all good. I mean, I guess they give the thing like direction and probably like help find its food and stuff like that, right? I would imagine. Something along those lines. looking a little bit of a hot mess right now I don't know if there's a rule for like they have X number I don't know you. I don't know about that All right, I'm thinking we're getting close, though, right? Because we don't want too many. I mean, he doesn't have, like, I don't know. He don't have that many. But. Oh, you like him? I'm glad you like him. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of him right now or not, but it's okay. He's all right. I'm not. I'm just going to darken in this eye area a little bit more here. I want it to know it's his eye is there, but I just want to darken this area a little bit more. I'm using the um. I'm using the Paint Pixie paints for this. And so I've been using them for all of the um, the little C ones. So you're part of the Paint and Retreat. So you're going to get the tracer for this guy. And you can decide how you want to paint him. Um, and use the colors, you know, um, that you want to use. Which, whatever they may be. I'm going to use a little bit of this dark and just kind of come in. Give a little bit of a kind of just a little additional shadow there between the we're going to be done. Just to kind of pull that out just a little bit more. And just because I've got this color going on this brush, I'm just going to continue to use this long liner brush. I 
we just kind of want to allow that separation to be like a little more because they're truly separation, right? Like, you know, the Yes, they're nice paints. They really are. And they're so versatile. You know, you can do furniture. You can do canvas. You can do any anything and everything you want. But there's our lobster. If you want to bling him up a little bit, you could bling him up a little bit. But we need to name him. We, we could go with Dolly. Or we could go with something completely different. Whatever y'all want to do. What do y'all want to do? Is the name Dolly for a girl? Or is the name, or is he more of a boy? I don't know. I keep referring to him as a boy, but he could be a girl. Girls are colorful. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Dee. So I'm going to paint the sides again, just like I did with all the others, with the Caribbean cooler. Spencer. Oh, I like that. We got Crazy Charlie. We got Slim Shady Seahorse. We got Larry Moe and Curly. Um, jellyfish. And now we either have, um, see how that just makes it look so nice and neat. Um, Spencer or Dolly? Let's just vote. Spencer or Dolly? We kind of have all, all boys' names. Maybe I'm liking Dolly more. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Dolly or Spencer? I'll be binging the next few. Cool. Yeah, I know. It's hard. But work comes first. We miss you when you're not here. But I'm glad when you can make it. I got some exciting things in the works I can't wait to tell y'all about, but I got to wait until we work out all the details because I don't have details to tell you about it yet to tell you what's going on, but I got quite a bit. He's definitely colorful. So we got one for Spencer and one for Dolly. Well, actually two for Spencer and one for Dolly. Well, I guess two for Dolly because um, D voted for Dolly when she said about Dolly. And Kelly voted for Spencer when she said Spencer. So now we've gotten... One additional dolly and one additional Spencer. I'm like, what side didn't I? I knew there was one side I didn't do. So one more vote for either Spencer or Dolly. I 
wish it was nice here today. It's raining still here. It's going to rain here for the next, like, four or five days they have in the thing. And I'm just like, I'm over it. I'm over it. But my little boy has been so good outside. I have to give him kudos. He is, he is still, like, leaving it. And so he has... He is doing really good with his boot camp training. He likes to be a good boy. Yep, somebody cast a boat. <laughs> somebody. Somebody still on cast a boat. So. Rain stopped this morning. Well, I hope it stops here sometime soon. He's learning to become a gentleman. He is. He's learning. He's growing up. That's the big part is he's growing up. He just needed a little extra time to grow up. And I gave him the time to be the puppy that he was and have all kind of fun. But then, it, you know, he gets to be a big boy and he gets to be like really hard to handle. So he had to go to boot camp training aka Amanda training um to learn how to be a little gentleman and he's he's getting it he's getting it he is a good boy so there is my lobster I don't know if his head is a hundred percent right but it is what it is it is what it is but not quite no he'll be two in November so he's like 18 months old so he's he's still a baby. He's still a baby. Even though he's a he's you know he's not big by any means. He's like 43 pounds, 44 pounds, something like that. But he's a baby. He is. Thank you. Guess you get to break the tie. All right. Spencer or Dolly? We need a boat. Spencer or Dolly? He's kind of a wild looking lobster. She, he's kind of a lot wild looking lobster. Like, clearly. I don't know if they have rainbow lobster. I need a vote, guys. Spencer or Dolly? Spencer. Okay, so his name is Spencer. <laughs> Yay! That's what we were voting on. His name. Spencer or Dolly. And so his name is Spencer. He kind of looks like a boy to me, too. So that works out. All right, guys. I got to get back to work. It's, it's now... Uh, well past my hour. I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Please, if you're not joining the painting retreat, go find out more about it. We are doing this mermaid. We are doing this sea turtle. And we are doing, I do it every time I set it right there where I can't get my the beach bag. We're doing a beach bag. Plus, you get the tracers for all that I'm doing this week on my lunchtime. So, you get the lobster, the crab, the seahorse, and the jellyfish. And tomorrow, we will find the pearl. And so, anyway, y'all have a great rest of your day. I'll see you lunchtime tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye.